Y'all, come look at this. If you like peach bago, you're going to love this. And I know it don't look like a peach bago. It might not be a peach bago, but baby, when I tell you, it's close to it. Imagine being able to drink a peach bago. Like, I, I grew up drinking them, but I can't drink them because they, they ain't good for my body. So, for, at least for my body. I don't know about y'all body, but they ain't good for my body. But this right here. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Imagine drinking a healthy peach bago. Bago. I'm about to show you how to make this right now. So first, what you're going to need for this recipe, make sure you get you a peach. Ooh. A peach. Make sure the peach is sweet. And the way you can tell if a peach is sweet is it got to be a little soft, I think. I've never had a sweet a peach that was sweet peach that was hard. So this is a peach. And some green grapes. The grapes got to be green, okay? The grapes got to be green. So green grapes, a lemon, and that's it. Water and ice. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it, even though I cleaned my food off already before I put it in the refrigerator, but I'm cleaning it off again. Cause yeah, rinse off that good old, tangy, tangy. it won't hurt to be a little extra clean, it won't hurt nobody. So we're gonna put these grapes in here. I'm only making a small serving, so I don't want to make that much. So, put some of the green grapes in there. Eat some. Put more in there. You know. That should be good. Next, we're going to clean this peach off. And... I am about to, cause you don't want to put this. Now I put the seed in. I, you know how it did, did, my bloom is powerful, baby. But please remove the seed. Ooh. We ain't gonna do all that. We just gonna peel it. How about that? Peel it. Peel it. I need to taste to see if it's sweet. <laughs> Oh, I looked up on one. It's so hard to find a sweet peach. God, and I, how's this Georgia peach? But it's hard to find a sweet peach. Baby, so, I'm glad I looked up this one. So, I was going to put two in there. But I'm going to see how it tastes with just one. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about another ingredient I'm going to add into it. Can anybody guess what the other ingredient I forgot? I'm going to tell you. Now we're gonna peel the lemon. I think I could put a whole lemon in the blender. Cause my blender blend up everything. I'm gonna do it one day, but not today. Gotta put that lemon in there to bring all the flavors together and out, enhance all the flavors. Bam. Now hold on. Y'all know I can't make nothing without my dates. So I'm only gonna put one in there because them grapes is pretty sweet and the peach is pretty sweet. You really don't need it, but make sure you remove the seeds from your dates whenever you use the dates. So I'm gonna use one. Let me get some ice. Put like three cubes in there because I want it to be cold. Next, I need some water. Hold on. All right, y'all, so I added the water to it, and now we are just about to blend it up. Oh, I'm about to blend it without the top. Oh, my goodness, I would have been mad. So, hold on, make sure I can see it. My big baby over there so I can see my little baby. All right. Let's see. I want y'all to see the. Hold on before I put it in the thing. Baby, the green grape and the it, it it just I'm telling you, it just does it. It just gives it that pop. And the peach, the peach is kind of low tone. I say the the peach is like at a, like a 
three or four. I want it to be like at a six. So I'm gonna put this other peach in there. And I already know. <laughs> I already know because I can taste the undertone of the peach, but I want the peach to be a little bit stronger. So I'm going I'm glad I got two peaches. I'm glad I got two peaches. Oops. But let me make sure this one's sweet. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna blend this up. Hold on. Blend this up a couple more seconds. Now. Oh, let's see. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Let me get a glass. Now I want y'all to see how there's no pulp in there. Y'all see that? Oh, that's that real peach. And it, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about the, the green grape. The green grape gives it that like fizzle type. I don't know. But, baby. If you love peach fago, oh my God, it's just so good. It's just so good. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all gotta make this grapes. Um peach, make sure the peach is sweet. Lemon, water, and a date is optional. You only need one. One. Cause this is sweet. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Like I said, it might not look like a peach bagel. Might not be a peach bagel, but it sure tastes close to it and it's healthier. So it's a win-win. All right. Let me know if y'all try this, okay? But if you, I just want to add this in there. If you want that, you know, that sizzle, real, real sizzle, even though you get the sizzle from the, um, to me, from the grapes, you can add in some sparkling water. I don't know too much about sparkling water. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know if it's good. I just don't drink it. I just drink regular water. But to each his own, if you want to add that in there, just add a little kick to it. You can, but I don't think you need it. But just want to let y'all know that part. Mm-hmm.